Welcome back. Let's find out if we've got anything wrong so far. For that, we go to TV's Andy Levy. Hey, Andy. Hey, Greg, I got a present for you. Oh, thank you. Yeah. What? Oh! <laughs> stretch, a little oh, stretchy. I love him. A little stretchy. So big. I got... I gotta see it again sometime. <laughs> like in the like maybe towards the end of the end of halftime. I need to see it again. You people and your stupid cats. <laughs> that is the if you if you ever get tired of looking at that, then you're not human. <laughs> <laughs> that better be keyed up for the end of halftime. That's somebody out of my hands. somebody's losing a job. That is out of my <laughs> hands, sir. Anytime we ask the question, how big is that? Yes. We'll get a little so big. That has to that has. has to come up every time. Uh, Qaddafi, Hearts, Condi. Sherrod, you said maybe Qaddafi just likes women of power. Well, he did say that he admires the way she leans back and gives orders to the Arab leaders. I think maybe that's a little peek into what he likes in the bedroom. Yes, you got to actually got to pay extra for that usually. Yeah, extra 250. exactly. Yep. I know a girl. <laughs> Do you? Yeah. Yeah. Right. She has a house of girls. <laughs> uh, Chris, you said dictators are weird guys. We're gonna get we're gonna get letters, man. <laughs> Not cool. Sorry. We have to we have to come back here to work tomorrow. So. <laughs> uh, Jedediah, you say the irony here is that Condi is a strong, independent woman. And then you asked of Gaddafi, what would he do? Make her one of his fifty wives? Yeah. He's only had two wives, and not at the same time. Really? Yeah. You He's just ruined one. my joke, Andy, yeah, and for that, that you will pay. But, but, pay. but Andy, yes. he has a bevy of bodyguards wh who are all female. He does, but strictly platonic. Yes, as, or so he says. Yes, and I have no reason not to believe Muammar Gaddafi. <laughs> By the way, he, he gave her a locket with, and you open it up, and there was an engraving of himself. Was it really? really? How how ballsy is that? That wow. is pretty amazing. That's fantastic. Hey, hey, hey! Open it up. <laughs> open it up. That's me. <laughs> but 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 Andy, what woman wouldn't want to loot? Oh, don't even get me started on a loot. Oh. That, that, he just, he, he stole my move. I don't know, uh, yeah. He totally stole my move. No, wasn't that he your... He jacked my move, Greg. That, that was your flair that you would bring into a bar. Yeah. Hey, absolutely. what's that? Oh, it's a loot. Yeah. yeah. That's, <laughs> yeah. that's, that's what no, Andy was going through his Peter Pan stage. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> right down to the costume. Right. And then, mm -hmm. you know, no, no, I couldn't possibly, and then next thing you know, yeah. <laughs> uh, Care and their lawsuit. Greg, you asked Chris if, given his disgusting lifestyle, <laughs> Uh, which I assume was a reference to the fact that he is a fan of the Pittsburgh Pirates. Yes. Hey! Uh, you said, uh, given his disgusting lifestyle, uh, would he be okay with the police being in the places that he hangs out? Yeah. I believe in the places he hangs out, there were a lot of people dressed as police. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> and pirates. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. All right, here we go. Jedediah, you said uh, you don't think anyone could have a problem with all of this. Yeah. You have a problem? Oh, really? oh here comes the libertarian oh, to spoil the party, right? Here, here we go. Let's see. Uh, CIA involvement in domestic intelligence, which is a big old no-no. And according to the Associated Press report... He's just an advisor! Which, according to the Associated Press report, troubled some senior CIA people. So you've got some people in the CIA who have problems with it. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Uh, the FBI requires evidence of a crime before an informant can be used inside a mosque. The accusation here is that the NYPD is using these so-called mosque crawlers without any such evidence. And according to the Associated Press, senior FBI officials in New York ordered their own agents not to accept any reports from the mosque crawlers for this very reason. Wow. So you got people in the FBI who have a problem with it. Listen, well, if what, they're doing something yeah. illegal, I have a problem with it. If they're doing something well, they shouldn't the be doing, claim. but I want them but that's the claim. I want them to be able to to properly take care of people and look into what needs to be right. looked but into. The, but the claim based on this report is they are doing things that may in fact be mm -hmm. illegal. Well, if it's illegal, it needs to stop. But and I just don't want that sensitivity also, issue. Also, what about this one, Jedediah? You got the NYPD using census data uh, to identify ethnic makeup of neighborhoods. Now, mm -hmm. I thought conservatives wanted people to only check off how many people lived at a place on the census form for the very reason that it's none of the government's damn business yeah, to, no. for them to know any of that other stuff. I so hear, shouldn't conservatives be upset about I this? I hear what yeah. you're saying. I completely, and I have a fierce libertarian streak, I'll have you know, so I hear what you're saying, but I just want the police to be able to do their job, and I don't want hypersensitivity around certain ethnic groups. I just, be able to do your job and protect the city and protect New Yorkers, but obviously stay within a Legal realm. Andy, well, th this and, is wait, crazy. Can, I, can, can I go ahead? You th go. This, that, that is that is absolutely nuts. <laughs> if there's any laws that have been broken, then the law should be changed. Let's be realistic here. We're talking about saving people's lives. There are people out there who want to kill Americans 
because they believe it is their mission from God to do so. And so, so just, therefore, we need to be infiltrating places like so mosques just, where just, they're learning this crap. So throw, throw out the Constitution if, if it gets in the way. No, I don't think that it's violating yeah, the Constitution. Think, if it's violating I, I, any law, Chris, my, my understanding law. is conservatives, especially in the last couple of years, have been talking a lot about the Constitution. You yeah. can't pick and choose. Yeah, yeah, I'm not picking and choosing. You are picking and choosing. No, I'm not. You are picking and choosing. No, I'm saying you that. absolutely are. My interpretation of this is that this doesn't violate the Constitution. And if there's any laws that this violates, the law should be changed to allow it to happen. But instead of mm -hmm. like crawling around mosques and trying to infiltrate stuff, how about just have a dialogue with people and treat them like Americans because they want to protect America just as much as anybody else? Not the, not, 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 not the extremists. Not no. the extremists. But some people ain't extremists in the same mosque and they don't want the yeah, mosque or anything else blown up. Where was Care talking about Muslim extremists? Where, where you know, how come the only time we hear from CARE is when they're complaining about the fact that there's, you know, an informant yeah. looking for hey, people who Chris, want to blow hey, us Chris, up? Hey, Chris, I got, I got no love whatsoever for CARE. I think generally they're, they're fairly disgusting, but they may be right here. If the Associated Rep uh, Press report is true, if their investigation and what they've discovered is true, which we should point out the NYPD says it's not, but if it is, then there's some troubling things here. Oh. That, should, that should be investigated, and then we can find out. Maybe they're not violating the Constitution or breaking the law, but maybe they are. Let's investigate and find out. Andy, uh, if I might just uh, employ a little trick that Please. I uh, learned out on the five. Please. What have you got against America's heroes? <laughs> uh, Greg, Greg. Greg, can no I No flag lapel. No, <laughs> Greg, flag lapel. Greg, Greg, I have an answer for that question. Yes. Sherrod, what did you say about the Jews? <laughs> <laughs> I said that uh, they're great people, and I'm actually Jewish. Oh, okay. Well, huh? Look at that's that. what I thought you said. I don't know why they got upset over that. <laughs> Seems fine to me. It was when he did it in his low voice. <laughs> yeah. It made me think it was something is? really awful. Yeah. When I describe Muslims as acting like them. <laughs> That's what okay. people are offended for. All right. I don't know what that means. Well, you will when you see the lines outside. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> the lines of protest. Right. Don't worry, I'll snort them all, Andy. Uh, uh, we apologize for everything Sherrod said. Yes, mm -hmm. third parties in 2012. Uh, Jebediah, you said you don't think a third party candidate would have a shot in 2012. I, I totally agree. Mm -hmm. Here's my fearless prediction. If there is a serious third party candidate in 2012, he or she will spend a lot more money than I will and will get exactly the same number of electoral votes. Yeah, yes. I would have to agree with you. Yes. I would have to agree with you. And also yes. take votes away from the Republican at this point. Well, that's the thing. I do think, like, if, if I don't think he would, but if Ron Paul were to run on a Libertarian, libertarian Party ticket, he could make some problems. He could create some problems, as could states. Donald Trump if he decided to do that. Donald, Donald Trump, Trump saying, oh, I'm going to run as an independent. That's a problem, too. I want Donald Trump to hop on and run as a Democrat against Obama. I, don't I fear think, that. Oh, I, don't, I don't think Trump oh would cause God. all that much problem. But there is, there, Ron Paul has a small but solid base mm -hmm. of support that in a couple of close states could make a difference. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. I agree 100%. But in New York, people go like this, Ron Paul. He plays shortstop for the Yankees? <laughs> you don't know Ron Paul. Ain't. No one knows him. <laughs> Put on an album or something. Everyone knows who Ron Paul I is. I love him. I love him, but Dude. come on. Did you see the Ron C who knows him? Didn't you see the Ron Paul protesters on the way in? That's right. I saw all three yeah. of them. One was a Frank dude. Yeah. <laughs> he was trying to sell yeah. Franks. We have time for a video? Frank dude. <laughs> How big is that? Oh! <laughs> A third party. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> that could definitely that take could win. The, that, that, that could be in the White House. I'm done. Go enjoy your silly cat fetish while I'm gone. <laughs> All right. Coming up, what's the best way to turn the tables on an annoying fan? Jenna Diabila discusses her new book, Take One Step Closer, and I'll stab you in the face. Ooh. But first, who did Jim Carrey declare his love for online? My money's on the chocolate rain guy, he's a hoot.